Police say the youths who engage police are usually encouraged by these politicians at the rallies and by the time the procession starts, they are charged and waiting for an opportunity to get back at police. You've heard on rallies, politicians making derogatory statements, incitive st statements, and demonizing statements to the police. Police is like this, police is like this. Kawesi says while there have been accommodative, hooliganism and lawlessness will be punished since it seems the police are being seen as a target for abuse. You come with a stone, we are going to disable you. Police have also warned opposition politicians against what they say is inciting the public at these rallies, which statements could be treasonable. You go and, and incite violence, that is already criminal making uh, statements that connote treason. These are some of the scenes from Tuesday at Namungona when after an A4C rally, police engaged in a scuffle with stone-throwing youths. This followed a disagreement over which exit route FDC President Dr. Kiza Besije and other leaders would use after the rally. There was similar chaos yesterday after another rally in Kawempe. Now police say processions will not be allowed because they disrupt traffic flow and some unscrupulous people use the chaos to disturb the peace and cause damage. Soon after the, 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 the main rally, there will be no procession. People have to go normally to their homes. Life must remain normal despite, despite these political rallies. Indeed, police have issued stringent guidelines ahead of another FOC rally tomorrow at Kololo ceremonial grounds. Upper Kololo Terrace will be closed to the public for monitoring until the end of the function. Access to these grounds will be via Wampeo Avenue and Lower Kololo Terrace. No border border cyclists will be allowed to access Kololo grounds. There will be no parking at the grounds, but at areas secured by the organizers outside the venue. And motor vehicles parked or abandoned by roadsides will be towed away to Ginger Road Police Station at the owner's cost.